What if you took Dixie back to the animal sanctuary? That's where I got her in the first place, Carrie. How would taking her back help? Jojo Rivers. He's a horse whisperer. I'm sure he could help. But Jojo worked with Dixie before I took her on. I know, but maybe it wasn't long enough. You fell in love with Dixie, like, on sight, and wanted to take her home as soon as possible. Right? Right. And since everyone knows how good you are with horses, they let you take her exactly when you wanted. Yeah? Well, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. Maybe Dixie should have worked with Jojo for longer before she came here. You might be right. I'm totally right. And not only that, but I bet Jojo could teach you some amazing techniques, too. Me? Why not? You've already got this whole sixth sense thing with horses. If you learn to horse whisper, you'll totally be able to manage Dixie forever. Hey, when did you get so smart? I was just born this way. And I've already spoken to Jojo. He's sure he can make a big difference with a bit more time. Wendy, I'm sorry. It's too late. I've decided to sell Dixie. What? I've been thinking about it and thinking about it, and uh, I just can't risk you getting hurt. I just can't. So what are you going to do? Just take her to a horse auction or something? No. I found some buyers. Without even asking me? Dad, who are they? Who did you find? And how will they treat Dixie? They're a really nice couple who are looking for a buggy horse. Dixie? A buggy horse? They don't have any other pets, so there won't be any pigs or horses or anything else for her to get spooked by. How do you know they won't be mean to her? Because I've told them all about her, Wendy. They're very patient and they have a lot of time on their hands. You know I'd never sell a horse to a buyer if it was a bad match. I can't believe this is happening. Can't I even try, Jojo? Please, Dad, just give me a chance. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But this will give Dixie the good home you want for her. A buggy horse. It's not the life I want for her. Welcome to Rose Valley. I'm Jim. Now remember, she's skittish. You're going to have to be patient with her. Oh, I'm fine with that. I used to work for a vet, so I'm used to dealing with animals who are scared or not feeling well or just plain erratic. Do you folks happen to have a teenage daughter? Then you'll understand when I tell you that my 15-year-old has uh, horse-napped the horse you've come to see. I understand completely. I did mention I'm used to dealing with erratic animals. Do you know how embarrassing it was to tell those people that my daughter just spirited away the horse they'd come to buy? Wow. I've never heard you use the word spirited before. Rose Valley is the place to be. From morning to midnight. 